skincare dupes for nine of Drunk Elephant's most popular products. This took me nonstop days to put together, and when I was reading through these ingredients lists, I was first off shocked at how much they are charging for these products, and second, just the sheer, well, you know what? You'll see. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's start off with the Proteini Peptide Moisturizer that's $68. I found a dupe that is $17, and this one kind of blew my mind. This is a case where I think they actually went in, just copied the ingredients list, and made it cheaper. The Acure Radically Rejuvenating Whipped Night Cream has almost the exact same ingredients. In every cosmetic product, there is a vehicle and an active. The vehicle is what everything is suspended in. It's the way the product feels and goes onto the skin. The actives are the ones that do the active work. They're the ones that are exfoliating or helping with redness or pigmentation. These two formulas have the exact same vehicle, the same base, glycerin, ceteral alcohol, and Ceteral Olivate. On top of that, the key selling point of this Proteini cream is all of the peptides. Well, this one from Acure has peptides from the exact same families. Again, we have polypeptides, hexapeptides, oligopeptides, you name it. Both of them have lactic acid, both of them have vitamin C in the form of ascorbyl glucoside. They both have sodium hyaluronate, it's a derivative of hyaluronic acid, and on top of that we have sodium PCA, and here's the kicker. Both of them contain marula oil. Marula oil is this special ingredient that Drunk Elephant always uses. It really shows me they saw that this was a good product and they could make it pretty much similar but just for much cheaper, and they did. And cruelty free and vegan, and for that, I am grateful. At the end of the ingredients list, we also see a culture extract. Again, here comes my bad Latin, Symptium Officiale. Essentially, it's comfrey extract, which, fun fact, in the 1990s, people were looking at it to see if it helped with bone healing. That was homeopathic medicine, so who knows if it actually does that, but it is an extracted culture that both of these products have inside of their formulas. At the end of the day, they are very similar. The Acure one is slightly thicker, but they're pretty much identical, and the difference is $17 versus $68. You're welcome. Next, this Marula face oil has a lot of controversy behind it, specifically because of the ordinary. Drunk Elephant is selling their 100% unrefined Marula oil for $72. Well, if we look at the ordinary, it's listed for around $10 with the exact same ingredients, 100% cold-pressed virgin Marula oil. As a little bit of background, um, The Ordinary really started some drama. I think that brands need to be called out when they do something bad, and The Ordinary was acting like a bitch. Um, the founder at the time basically said you would have to be drunk to spend $72 on marula oil. First off, although it's kind of true, that is extremely rude, it is uncalled for, it could have been handled in a much better manner. The Ordinary started that one, and they deserve to be called out. But this, it appears, is what may have stemmed the rivalry between Drunk Elephant and The Ordinary. At the end of the day, with all of those politics aside, because there was bad stuff happening on both sides, this does look like the exact same product, or at least very, very similar, and the difference is $10.72. The A Passioni Night Cream has a lot of drama around it as well because of what we talked about in the Drunk Elephant video, specifically what happened when Caroline Hirons reviewed this product and was unhappy with it. I personally wouldn't spend $74 on this eye cream either, but I did find a dupe so that if you are spending that kind of money, you have options. This one from Elta MD is the Renewal Eye Gel, the Daily Eye Therapy, and it comes in at $56. This was actually really hard to find. I think I spent around eight hours trying to find a dupe for this product alone because I haven't seen eye creams that specifically put retinol, peptides, niacinamide, and different plant extracts all in the same formula. But then I found this Elta MD one. Both of them have a glycerin base, so they do feel very similar when you put them on. One difference is the color. Um, the Drunk Elephant one is a little bit more yellow, but they both have peptides. They both have a form of retinol. With Drunk Elephant, it's 1% retinol. With the Elta MD, it's retinol palmitate. They also both have forms of sodium hyaluronate as well as sodium hydroxide, and both of these have a bunch of different plant extracts. Again, I wouldn't personally use either of these as a night cream. I think they are both overpriced face moisturizers, but be aware that these both contain plant extracts if that's something you care about. Additionally, they both have niacinamide, which is that vitamin B3. It's really good for fighting redness and for a little bit of oiliness in the skin. And again, the difference is $74 versus $56. That is eight hours of thank me later. <laughs> 
Ooh, then the sea firma also has drama around it because Drunk Elephant went and ripped off the SkinCeuticals patent, which is again, illegal. Yet at the same time, this is where my personal opinions come in. I'm glad that the consumer marketplace has competition because it protects us as consumers. SkinCeuticals is 160 something dollars, and this one, although it's very expensive at $80, it's about half the price. That being said, I did some digging, and this is again what I spent my entire weekend doing. Guess what kind of a dupe I found? An almost exact replica with a couple of differences for $9. Again, cruelty-free, vegan, I was shocked. Let's look at these ingredients list. They have a very similar vehicle, again, the same starting ingredients, so we know that they're going to kind of work and absorb into the skin in a similar way. We've got water, we've got a form of vitamin C, we've got glycerin as a hydrator, and then we have a lactobacillus extract. Lactobacillus is a bacteria that naturally lives in our guts and in our bodies, it's a probiotic, and these ferment extracts are basically lysed bacteria. Now, the difference is that the drunk elephant is using a pumpkin one, and this clean line is using a papaya one, but these are very similar, and science points to the fact that they both work in the same way. On top of that, both of these formulas have ferulic acid, again, that amazing ingredient to stabilize that vitamin C. They also both have radish ferment filtrate. Within the cosmetic formulators industry, it's actually known to be a natural preservative. And I think that's what both of these formulas are using this for. Both of them have licorice extract. Again, licorice extract is one of those ingredients that you don't see in a lot of products. And the fact that both of these are so similar gets my gears turning. And then, of course, they both have a bunch of plant extracts. One difference is that this clean one does have turmeric. Um, turmeric is known to be anti-inflammatory, very healing to the skin, but it can leave the skin slightly yellow, and I did see some comments saying that. But for $9 versus like $80, you've basically got your CE and ferulic acid there at a fraction of the price. That's all I have to say about that. Then we have the TLC Flamboose Facial, Fanboys Facial. Am I saying that right? <laughs> This is basically a glycolic type of serum that is meant to refresh the skin. And again, as I was looking through pages and pages and hours of these drunk elephant ingredients, I started to get really surprised of how much stuff they're shoving into their products. Again, they're high quality ingredients, but when you have a list of 50 to 80 ingredients on one product list, there's a lot more of a chance that people might be reactive to them or have irritation. It's better to start off with a small amount of ingredients and see how things work for you and then you can add things on because when you have so many variables mixed in together, you don't know what might be combining in a certain way or causing issues. And I have a feeling that even without the suspicious six, all of these ingredients combined with actives, that's why a lot of people have had irritation or redness that the official account of Drunk Elephant then went and yelled at them on social media for. You can't possibly have irritation with our products! Yeah, that's not how skin works. <sighs> We've been over this. At the end of the day, this product is $90 and I found a dupe that is 58. Now, this isn't the perfect dupe, but it is very similar. The key ingredient here is this AHA, alpha hydroxy acid, which is glycolic acid. It's really exfoliating to the skin. It penetrates super deep because of its small molecule. The Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Night Serum also has this exact same glycolic acid, as well as having the lactic acid that the Drunk Elephant product has. The Drunk Elephant also has a BHA, salicylic acid, which is again oil soluble. It's really good for acne prone skin. The Pharmacy one specifically has willow bark extract. Now, this and salicylic are not the exact same thing, but salicylic acid actually comes from the willow tree. It's the same thing as aspirin, acetosalicylic acid. And this is why it's important to turn and learn your ingredient labels and learn the different names for these things, because in layman's terms, they work in a very similar way on the skin. We've also got some cross polymers down there in the list. We do have some grape extract versus a grapeseed oil. The one thing I do have to say is that this pharmacy product is personally something I would not spend my money on. The reason why is because it has honey extract as well as royal jelly. Both of these come from bees and it's actually detrimental when it comes to the environment. For those who don't know, the bees are currently in danger and unfortunately products that use honey or take things from these bees often come from places where bees are not transported or cared for well and they are fed antibiotics which can cause degradation of the hives and overall destruction to bee colonies which then means that our plants and our food cannot get pollinated and we don't have fresh fruits and vegetables. That is personally why as a vegan I would not purchase this product. However, 
when doing all of this research and giving you objective information, I want you to know everything that's out there, but have all of the information to make choices based on morals and values and the knowledge that's presented to you. So yes, I do consider this to be a dupe product, but for these reasons, I would not purchase it and I would not recommend it to other people. And if you are considering purchasing this dupe product, I would ask you to please go read up on some of these things. I'll leave links in the bottom tab below. Educate yourself first and then make your decision based on that esoteric monologue is over. <laughs> Next, the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. And again, this was so difficult because they put so many things into one product, it's hard to find dupes that also plug so many things into one product. Oh, am I saving you money on this one? The Drunk Elephant Baby Facial comes in at $80. Guess what I found? A dupe for 28. This is the Squalene and Glycolic Renewal Facial from Biosance, and it is a steal of a deal with some of the same great ingredients, and it's also used in a similar way. When we look at the first ingredients, again, the vehicle, it shows us the texture of the product. They both have glycerin, so they're going to be very similar. They also both have salicylic acid, lactic acid, and glycolic acid to exfoliate and to renew the skin. They both have sodium hyaluronate or sodium hyaluronate cross polymer, which is again, very hydrating. And the main difference is the usage here. Again, the Biosance one goes on for 10 minutes, uh, around three times a week. And the Drunk Elephant recommends 20 minutes for once a week. $80 versus 28. I mean, you can see why Drunk Elephant is such a successful business. I have a feeling that their markups on products are huge, especially that marula oil. They are raking in 10 to 15 times the amount that they are actually spending to create this stuff. It's just mind blowing. Ah, then the Drunk Elephant Sea Tango Eye Cream. This one is $64 and let's say a prayer for it because I found a dupe that is 48 and I actually have something to say about both of these because I wouldn't purchase either. First, let's dig into the ingredients. The Paula's Choice Ceramide Firming Eye Cream is the dupe. And again, this was really difficult because this Drunk Elephant Eye Cream had vitamin C, it had ceramides, but it also had peptides. And it was really hard to find another eye cream that had all of those things in it. But we did it! When we dig into the ingredients, both of them have ceramides, both of them have vitamin C in the form of ascorbyl glucoside, both of them have peptides. And again, when we look at the main formula, they're both based off of ceteral alcohol, so they have a similar texture and feel. That's an alcohol that's really hydrating, it's like a fatty alcohol that goes really nicely onto the skin. Both have panthenol, vitamin B5, as well as sodium hyaluronate, that derivative of hyaluronic acid, and they both have mica! And this is where I blow my lid and tell you that I wouldn't spend my money on either of these. Again, yes, they are dupes for each other, but they're still both wastes of money. These are overpriced facial moisturizers and literal pieces of makeup. These are highlighting creams. Mica is that really shimmery pigment. It's basically a crushed up glittery rock, and it's what's used in your eyeshadows and in your facial highlighters. They are putting this in an eye cream. Does it absorb into the skin and do anything amazing for you? No, it just makes your under eye glittery, which makes it look more luminous. And if you do have dark circles, it's literally makeup that makes you look less sleep deprived. You are paying 40 to $60 for a glorified facial moisturizer that has makeup pigment in it. Literally, save yourself money, buy a moisturizer, and put some highlighter underneath your eyeballs. Thank me later. Yet, if you are gonna spend your money on this, consider spending 48 at Paula's Choice. They often have discounts, as opposed to 64 on the Drunk Elephant one. The Bee Hydra was also really difficult. The only dupe that I could really find wasn't perfect. And again, it's because I've never seen another brand other than this Drunk Elephant shove so many different ingredients into one cream. It's just, it's a lot. You know how I feel about the line at this point. My opinion, you don't have to take it, but do consider this dupe. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum for $38. Again, it's not exactly identical, but it was the closest I could find. Both of these have glycerin, both of these have sodium PCA, and both of these have panthenol, otherwise known as vitamin B5. 
They are both hydrating, they soak into the skin really nicely, and if you don't want to buy the Bee Hydra one, or if you do want to save a little bit of money, the First Aid Beauty one is 38, whereas the Bee Hydra is 48. Then, this one I am also super proud of because I had to do so much digging. It got to the point where it was like a treasure hunt and I'm just digging through these ingredients list and when I finally found one that matched up and it had the same actives and it had a similar vehicle and similar usage directions, it was like I hit gold. I felt like the little Lucky Charms leprechaun when he found the marshmallow pot underneath the rainbow. And this was one of those moments. The La La Retro sells for $60. This Paula's Choice Omega one sells for $35. The key in these products are the ceramides. Ceramides are made naturally by our skin. They're a very fatty substance that really helps us lock in moisture and keep our skin supple and smooth. There are different ceramides such as ceramide NP, ceramide AP, ceramide EOP, and it's really hard to find all of these within the same formula. Guess what the Paula's Choice one has? <laughs> On top of that, both of these formulas have cholesterol. It's that really fatty substance that animals make, including animal animals and human animals. And both of these have sodium hyaluronate or sodium hyaluronate cross polymer. Again, absorbs really nicely into the skin. Again, the price difference that you're looking at is $35 to $60. And when you look at the Paula's Choice one, it actually has a lot of omega fatty acids in there. It has a lot of ingredients that outside of the brand politics, I think I would actually prefer just based on an ingredients list alone. Finding this took so much research and so many hours of obsessive dedication, but I suppose being OCD and having having an addictive personality is good in this case. If you appreciate the work that went into this, please consider sharing it or going to that like button, or of course, doing the to the subscribe button if you haven't already. The original Drunk Elephant video can be found right here, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Love you guys, bye.